It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 1099, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, happy Friday, and welcome to another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I answer your health questions related to fitness, diet and nutrition, and lots more. You send in the questions, and I answer them for you. Now, if you wanna send a question in, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask, or you can call in your question. Just dial 61 I love ohd and I'm now taking email questions. So you can send those in to health at oldpodcast.com. So through these Friday Q&A shows, I hope that we can get down to the truth. I wanna help dispel some of those myths that are out there. In fact, today's question is a highly debated myth. And instead of just giving my opinion, what I like to do is look at the data. I like to pull research based on your question and find out what does the research say? What do other scientists say about your particular question? All right, I'm sure you're excited to hear today's question, so let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Hi, Dr. Neil. First of all, thank you so much for providing us valuable information. I'm a loyal listener and um, listen to your advice, take it to my bank. I really believe in you. So um, one thing that I'm really looking forward to is to have an episode on anti-wrinkle creams. It's a huge industry, and uh, honestly, I think people uh, like my age or around are completely lost with which creams work or don't work or if there's any cream that takes care of wrinkle at all. So um, kindly, please put some light on that topic. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, Shazine. Thank you for your question and thank you so much for being a regular listener. And I'm thrilled that you enjoy the show. Now, I did some research and found that there are some things that may help keep the skin looking younger and healthier. But as always, here's my disclaimer. Anything that I mention here should be discussed with your dermatologist. Dermatologists are doctors that specialize in skin health and are a fantastic resource for these kinds of questions. Oh, and I should also mention, I am not paid by any of the companies or products that I'm about to mention here. So with that, I'll share with you what I found. Now, the first thing I should mention is that the sun is probably the skin's worst enemy. So in order to maintain the health of the skin, avoiding excess sun exposure is important. And this goes for anyone of any age. This could be accomplished by staying out of the sun, of course, or by wearing sunscreen consistently when you go out. Now, you may be wondering how your body will produce enough vitamin D if you don't expose your skin to sunlight or if you cover it with sunscreen. Because again, you may have heard that the body produces vitamin D naturally when the skin is exposed to sunlight. But like I've said, it's all about weighing the pros and cons. What's most important to you? Is it skin health or making sure your body is producing enough vitamin D? The bottom line is you may wanna discuss with your doctor whether vitamin D supplementation is worthwhile for you. And fellas, if your hair is getting a little thin on the top like mine, be sure to wear a cap or apply sunscreen to the top of your head consistently. Now, most dermatologists agree that simply drinking more water may not prevent excess wrinkles and dry skin. Instead, applying products directly to the skin to help retain moisture is most important. So when it comes to skin creams, there are some that dermatologists recommend to their patients. Many recommend finding those creams that contain vitamins A and C, hyaluronic acid, and acts as a moisturizer. Vitamins A and C, what's the point? Well, they act as antioxidants. And antioxidants may help protect excess damage to the skin caused by the sun. What's up with hyaluronic acid? Well, it's interesting because this acid tends to attract water. So by applying hyaluronic acid to the skin, it pulls more water to that area, helping the skin appear more plump. Now, there are lots of variations of skin creams on the market. Some will contain higher concentrations of each of the ingredients I just mentioned. Some may contain other additives like turmeric, acai berry, or even green tea extract. The key is to discuss which will best suit you with your dermatologist, or at the very least, your primary healthcare provider. Now, in my research, I also found that there are some dietary supplements that may help prevent premature skin aging and wrinkling. Of course, you wanna discuss any supplements with your doctor before taking them. Then, let's say your doctor does approve of you taking one of these supplements, check consumerlab.com after to make sure the supplement passed quality testing. 
A few studies have looked at the effects of collagen supplementation on wrinkling and skin elasticity. Each of these studies were really well designed. They used a randomized placebo-controlled trial, which is considered like the gold standard when it comes to experimental studies. For example, a study published in 2019 found that women supplementing with a particular product called BioCell Collagen seemed to help reduce skin wrinkling. Specifically, the researchers provided the participants with a 500 milligram dose of this product twice a day. Now, in case you're wondering, well, what was actually in the supplement? It actually contained collagen, chondroitin, and hyaluronic acid. Now, a separate study found that women supplementing with 320 milligrams of cocoflavanols each day also led to fewer wrinkles. And yet another study looked at a different supplement altogether, gold collagen forte. Now, the participants in this study, most of whom identified as female, took 50 milliliters of the supplement each day for three months. At the end of those three months, the researchers found that the participants experienced improved skin elasticity. Now, this product contained vitamin B1, collagen, hyaluronic acid, barrage oil, glucosamine, and antioxidants, specifically L-carnosine, resveratrol, lycopene, coenzyme Q10, pomegranate, and acai berry. Okay, so when we look at all of these studies, it seems that the common ingredients within these supplements are some form of collagen, hyaluronic acid, and either chondroitin or glucosamine. So, Shazine, the good news is there are some options when it comes to skin health and maintaining healthy-looking skin. The one that's right for you will depend on what your doctor says. But in the meantime, you now can ask about these specific products and see what they have to say. And of course, be sure to wear sunscreen regularly and try to avoid excess sun exposure. And thank you to Thrive Market. Browsing the grocery store can sometimes take a lot more time than we anticipate. If you're looking for a quicker way to buy organic groceries and sustainable products from home, I've been a Thrive Market member for a while now and can't imagine getting my non-GMO and organic products any other way. Thrive Market is also a place for sustainable, non-toxic cleaning and beauty products. As a Thrive Market member, my paid membership also provides to someone in need, like a low-income family, a teacher, a veteran, or first responder. I'm saving 25 to 50% off traditional retail prices on my favorite snacks and cleaning supplies while helping to support communities in need through the membership matching process. And the best part? Their carbon neutral shipping is free on orders over $49. Go to thrivemarket.com slash OHD. Join today and you'll get a free gift of your choosing up to $22 in value. That's T-H-R I-V-E market.com slash O-H-D to start your risk-free membership and get a free gift today. Thrivemarket.com slash O-H-D. And thank you so much for the question, Shazine. You'll be entered into a very small raffle on the first of every month to win a book, which I can't believe is in just a few days. If you want to be in the raffle, send me a question. Just come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. You can record right from your computer's microphone or you can call in your question by dialing 61 I love OHD. Oh, and I'm now accepting email questions. You can send one in to health at oldpodcast.com. In the meantime, that's gonna do it for another edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for sharing this show with someone. I hope you have a wonderful start to your weekend and I'll see you back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.